The UN Human Rights Council has released a disturbing report about Russian involvement in a war crime in Ukraine. The report reveals shocking details that include the summary execution of a 14-year-old boy, as well as sexual violence against people as young as 4 and as old as 82. Even a priest was brutally beaten and subjected to humiliation by being forced to parade naked through the streets for an hour. These findings, according to the report, point to grave violations of international humanitarian and human rights laws on the part of Russia, including indiscriminate bombing of civilian populations and targeted attacks on the Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Acts of torture, unlawful confinement, summary executions, and rape were also mentioned in the report. In order to compile the report, international experts appointed by the Human Rights Council interviewed 595 people, made eight trips to Ukraine, and visited over 50 cities and settlements. Upon gathering testimonies and evidence, the investigators found that at least 68 people were summarily executed by Russia within just months of the war two of them being women, and one a 14-year-old boy. The execution techniques usually included gunshots to the head. Unsurprisingly, civilians were also targets of Russian force, either by getting shot at while on foot or in the midst of vehicle evacuation attempts. Meanwhile, these forces conducted mass detentions of people of fighting age, journalists, and other influential people with some reported cases of detention surpassing a period of nine months. It gets worse, as there have also been reports of torture ranging from electrocuting and suffocating detainees with plastic bags to dangling them upside down in extreme cold weather. The report also reveals how rape has been used as a weapon by Russian forces against detained men and women, as well as civilians during home raids. This includes the account of one pregnant woman begged to be spared, only to miscarry a few days later. Finally, the un back report confirmed that thousands of children have been taken by Russian forces against their will, and their Ukrainian citizenship has been replaced by Russian paperwork. Very few of these children have ever returned to their home country. The UN Commission's findings have put even further pressure on Russia to account for the gravity of its actions, and much like the thousands of victims,